This video is going to focus in on the USB connections to the Zenix 302 mixer. Now, uh, to get started, you would uh, plug in your USB to your mixer and then one end to your PC. Then you're going to have a maybe a downloading codec or uh, whatever and it it connects to your uh, PC and your mixer. Now, once everything's okay, let's decide how you want to utilize the USB. Do you want to have to, or to send audio from your PC to your mixer? So you can utilize like sound effects or a background music, or do you just want to uh, send the mixer output to your PC to record. Those would be the general two uh, options you have. So I will just choose uh, first the mixer to PC. So the output of the mixer is going to funnel the audio to the PC to record. So we go into our computer settings and we have two to make real quick um, one the top one is in playback the uh, second one is in recording and you'll notice the speakers here uh, that should be renamed to something that you can identify what it does PC audio to you to USB mixer. Uh, you might want to also check the levels. Uh, then you would go to the record tab, and of course the microphone. You would want to change to uh, mixer to PC, and you'll you'll know which ones to pick because it'll have the USB audio device in both of them. So once you do that, you uh, also, while you're there in both of them, make sure in the advanced tab it says two channel 16 bit 44.1 kilohertz uh, CD quality or higher, uh, depending on what you're recording. Uh, but Though those that would be the basic settings I would put. Okay, once you've done that, we've already said we're gonna the output of the mixer is going to the PC, so that would be this uh, arrow uh, configuration right here. Okay, we've got all our settings. Uh, we're ready to. Uh, maybe check the panel and make sure that the red button is in the up position that basically that is kind of a mute or it's in a neutral position because the in the up position normally if there was some RCAs plugged into this port right here, the line input, it would actually play audio. But since we do not have anything um, plugged into the RCA, it acts as a mute or a neutral position. So, um, oh, and I forgot to uh, point out. Uh, the button next to the red one you want to um, I guess it really doesn't matter headphones or mix uh, in the upper uh, down position because uh, there's no audio really coming in so that can can be in any position okay so now we're ready to bring up uh, like a um, 
a recording device or program and you're ready to you're ready to go once you uh, put in like your your microphone you're going to use or if you're a musician uh, you can use a TRS connection which uh, is the the connection for any instrument you can also use a TSR to uh, plug into the dual input of XLR and TRS you'll notice the the hole there is for a quarter inch or a TRS connection then the three little uh, the three little uh, round things are for the little pins for the XLR so I use this connection the I use I either plug in the guitar or the bass in there to practice to music and I'll show you that setup too because uh, you can run uh, music from your PC through the USB uh, have that going and have your instrument and playing to music you know you can have your controls on your PC playing while you're practicing and uh, hear the results for like a quiet practice so um, this this is the basic setup of course there's uh, nothing going on with uh, the sound card at all at this point it's just mixer and USB so this diagram is just here for uh, just demonstration or just I didn't uh, erase anything I just left that there so you're ready to go the the music is going out to your PC um, I did an earlier video that kinda went into you know uh, the line inputs the controls and I'm sure you can figure that out how you know how high you can go uh, you know when you set these uh, connections you can also if you have a mic or a, if you're plugged into an instrument you can see the green part when it when you play or talk it'll jump up and just as long as it doesn't jump up too high to where it peaks out and causes distortion or uh, the audio or whatever to cut out so that's one setup you know you would just record start recording and start playing or practicing uh, with the direction going to the PC and that's it I went into when uh, talked about the button positions um, the real critical one was of course these uh, PC settings because after that it's just software and a little bit of you know mixing of course but let's go to the other option is the PC to mixer so let's go back to my uh, example here of me playing a, a bass or guitar through the mixer to practice let's say we want that scenario so we want PC to mixer so what we'll do is we will go to what we uh, we had as default is the uh, mixer audio to PC now what we're going to do is we're going to disable this and make sure that when you disable there's a check mark or something that goes to the effect that if you disable something it doesn't remove it from the list it keeps all all options visible because if we want to go back and forth and and play around we don't want these controls to disappear and then have to undo the USB and plug it back in and then start our whole uh, situation over again so disable this one and then what will we would do is we will enable the PC audio to the USB mixer we're going to enable this 
it shows it disabled right now, but what you would do is you en enable this. So now the audio from the PC is coming through the USB to the mixer. So we're going to be playing music uh, to practice to, through, to, through that. And we're going to have our instrument where we can, we can mix the instrument and the incoming audio from the, the USB and so we can practice. So um, in that situation, very important, this is where the button uh, comes in. Now we want to USB play. So basically the USB, we want it to be in like play mode. So we would have the button in the down position. So that enables the audio from your PC to, to travel through to the mixer. So that's what the USB play, that's what that means. And of course have the other button next to it. Um, make sure it's to the main mixer, the phones, however you want to uh, do it. Probably, uh, you know, you, you're not recording anything, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Either one will work. Okay, so once you have that set, you have the USB play, it's put in, so now you have the audio coming through your USB, and music, once you start it on your PC, the music, to practice to, it should, in the headphones here, you should hear it. And then, of course, you can mix your... your um, instrument or your mic or your bass or whatever you have hooked in here you can adjust it accordingly so that is the basics I I wanted to really focus in on the USB connections with this video because it wasn't quite detailed or vivid or um, focused in on uh, with 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 the diagram, the arrows showing the direction, it can either go into your mixer or out of your mixer, uh, and and the buttons. I touched a little bit on it on it in the previous video called uh, setup and recording, but I wanted to just focus in on the USB because uh, you have to visualize that, and then of course the controls come up weird you know it'll come up speakers or microphone and it's really um, taking off the mixer but it just doesn't put that label it just put generic labels on it so it was kinda confusing and the recording software I was using whenever I would do try to uh, record from the USB it refused to recognize or record the mixer uh, audio going through the USB so I abandoned the recording and playing back from the USB but I've got a uh, CEP1 that uh, handles it just fine so that's why I made these videos because if I was having problems I'm sure other people had problems uh, uh, maybe similar or didn't have the right software like I didn't and it just kind of tripped me up because everything looked like it it should have been working so just know that that using the USB either to send the mixer signal out or something from the PC into the mixer it's uh, it's a good good way to record and play back and don't be afraid to uh, mess around with it and and of course get the right software so you can utilize this uh, because it's it's uh, a really good option to have this capability because you can do a lot of different things sound effects uh, when you're talking you name it you know vi um, audio from anything on your PC and to record you know kinda like a little podcast or live cast whatever so I think I've touched on everything you need to know I I did not 
go into the sound card which right now I'm using the sound card to record this uh, from the line in that is but I did want to just demonstrate the uh, USB and focus in on the USB and in my other drawings I did not have uh, an instrument uh, uh, featured uh, as a possibility uh, to to hook into the the quarter inch or the TRS connection here so I kinda wanted to add that because I got a message about it uh, asking if you can you can put a guitar bass in there and plus I kinda wanted to focus in more on the the USB connections so um, this mixer when I got it in uh, about 2011 the end of 2011 I didn't know what all I could do and now that I do know it's well worth the 45 or 49 dollars it is to get this because you can do so much and the reliability of the mixer is second to none I, I haven't had uh, the USB drop not once and I can't say that with uh, like the all the USB mics out there I've had nothing but trouble with USB mics but with this mixer it's so reliable uh, this is my you know never fail type setup and it's so portable too so I think I've touched on all that I can um, I hope uh, everyone has uh, probably you know has already knows or has played around with the USB and had more success than I did uh, with the software but uh, I just thought I'd make this video because I did have so much trouble and I consider myself fairly uh, advanced as far as software goes so I'll just put this video out there and uh, hopefully it's a good uh, diagram and a good explanation of what you can do with this mixer I love it so I think I'll leave it there and if there's any more uh, questions I might make uh, some more videos but uh, keep it on the ID band channel